Is decaf coffee safe for diabetics? Research published in the American Heart Association Journal reveals that switching to decaf coffee can reduce the likelihood of developing type 2 diabetes. A large sample of American individuals and their coffee consumption patterns were analyzed, and those who drank less than 5 cups of coffee per day were found to have a lower risk of death from cardiovascular diseases, neurological disease, type 2 diabetes, and also suicide. The Journal of Natural Products by the American Chemical Society reveals that particular components in coffee, both caffeinated and decaf varieties, protect against type 2 diabetes. Two chemicals found in coffee have been linked to a reduced chance of developing type 2 diabetes, according to a recent study. Scientists from Denmark's Aarhus University Hospital examined the effects of several coffee compounds on rat cells in the latest study. Cafestyl and caffeic acid, which are present in both caffeinated and decaffeinated coffee, were found to reduce diabetes-related symptoms. A person with diabetes develops resistance to the insulin hormone. The condition is also characterized by uncontrolled blood sugar. Both cafestyl and caffeic acid were shown to boost insulin secretion, while the former was also proven to increase cellular uptake of blood sugar. These two components may be responsible for coffee's preventive effect against diabetes since they specifically targeted linked systems and behaviors. The authors of the study highlighted the double advantage of cafestyl. That's correct for both regular and decaf coffee. This information, however, is not new. In the past, researchers have found that coffee consumption is correlated with a decreased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. However, researchers couldn't pinpoint why that link existed. Even though caffeine in coffee has been suspected of playing a part, other data suggests that people can reap the benefits even if they stick to decaf. Warning, this research was done on rat cells, not human beings. The study was limited to rat cells, therefore it is not known if these cells are responsible. The researchers think that other factors are more likely to be involved. After all, there are hundreds of compounds in a cup of coffee. Then again, the new information may help researchers find better ways to treat the disease. Thank you.